Hello everyone, we will continue the topic validations and substitutions and in the previous videos, firstly we understood what are validations, what are substitutions, then we covered what is application area and what is call up point, then we did the practical for the validation, we took a very simple requirement and we achieved that requirement using validation. Now what we will do? Now we will go for a very simple requirement. And now we will achieve that requirement through substitution. Now what we will do? I will go to FB01 transaction code. You all know you can create an accounting document or you can post an accounting document through FB01 transaction code. Suppose I am going for some document type. I will pass some document type. So document date. I will pass some document type. Now previously what we did in validation. For company code DE11, the document type WE is allowed. Now what we want to do. If company code is DE11 and document type is WE, the header text will be always, always goods receipt document. If I am passing some else header text, suppose if I am passing the header text, suppose test. Suppose if I am passing the header text, suppose testing. Whatever the header text, you are passing or not passing. Customer is passing or not passing. But whenever the document will post, whenever the document will create, that document header text will always, always be substituted by goods receipt document. It means we are substituting the value of this particular column. Whatever you are passing and whatever you are not passing, that document, whatever the accounting document will create, that document header text will always, always be substituted or you can say replaced or it has the default value or it has the constant value will always, always be goods received document. Now we will achieve that requirement using substitution. Now, when we did the practical for the validation, we went to GGB0 transaction code. That is for validation maintenance. Now we want to go for substitution maintenance. Substitution maintenance means we will create, we will change or we will delete the substitutions through GGP1 transaction code. Now I will go to GGP1 transaction code. So what is our requirement? If the company code is DE11 and the document type is WE, whenever the user will post that document, header text will always, always be goods receipt document. Now, first most important point, we need to choose the application area. You are going for substitution into which particular application area. So we will go for financial accounting. You all know FP01 is for accounting document. So what is the application area financial accounting? So I will choose this particular application area. So what is the first step? We went to GG1, GGP1 transaction port. Yes, we have chosen the application area. Our application area is financial accounting. Now, in that particular application area, we need to choose the call up point. Now, call up point means your location where you want to perform the substitution. Now, if I will simply, simply expand this application area, we have so many this call-up point. Now, based upon our requirement, if I will go to FB01 transaction code, this document header text 
is at the header level header level the description of the field itself is saying it is a header text if you want more information just do f1 you all know f1 is for technical information you can go for technical information it is clearly saying it is bkpf table which column bktxt if i will go to this table bkpf I will go for the table name BKPF and I will go for BKTXT. You can see document header text. So now it means what is our call up point? Our call up point is header. We will simply, simply go for document header based upon our requirement. Now, if I will double click, you can simply see. This is the application area and under that we have the call up point one. And if it is triple zero one, you all know call up point is four digit number four. Now, if I will go here, you can see first step done, second step done. Now you need to select the call up point. Have you seen when I selected the call up point, the substitution button becomes enabled. When we created the validation and we have chosen this call-up point at that time, validation button becomes enabled. Now I will simply, simply click on to which button? Substitution creation. I will click. Now I will give the substitution name and I will give the substitution description. Just simply compare it to validation. When you created the validation, if I will go to GGB zero transaction code, at that time we gave three things, validation name, validation description, and after that we gave the message class also, message class. Now we are not going for any validation, then why you should, we should go for message class? We are not going for any checking or something, we are not going for any validation. So we will simply, simply pass the substitution name and description. When you created the validation, you pass the name of the message class also. That message class you used in the message, you used in this particular message. Now here, I will only go for two things. Suppose my name of the substitution is H text. And I will give the description. Substitution for, okay, document text, I will save. And you can see our substitution is created. Now, if you remember when we created the validation, under the validation, we created the step. And step has three parts, prerequisite, check, and the message. Now, same thing. I will create a step. Now, if I will go for insert step. Now, have you seen this pop-up is coming? Now, you have two options. You can select the field from here itself. Or what you can do? You can simply cancel and you can pass the field later also. Suppose I will show you both the ways. Suppose first time. I'm simply, simply going for cancel button. I will go for cancel. Now you can see under the well, under the substitution, under the, this substitution, we have a step. Now step has only, only two parts. Prerequisite and once the prerequisite is fulfilled, but the substitution you want to perform, just compare it to validation here. In the validation, you have firstly prerequisite. After prerequisite, you are checking. If your check is false, you are simply going for message. But here in substitution, you are substituting the values. You are not checking at all. So if your prerequisite is fulfilled, you simply, simply has to substitute the values. Now what I will do, I will firstly click on to prerequisite. Now, now what is our prerequisite? I will go for accounting document header. I will select 
company code should be DE11 and document type should be WE. It means we have both conditions. We need to go for AND. So I will simply find first company code. Now you can see company code. I will select. It should be equal to. We are going for a constant value. So I will put DE11. Now you can see AND button enabled. I will go for AND. And now I will go for document type. This is our prerequisite because whenever this prerequisite will be fulfilled, then only in that case, we need to go for substitution. And what is our document type? I will find next. This is our document type. And it should be equal to, I will go for constant value. And what is the constant value? W E. If both the prerequisites are fulfilled, now I will go for substitution. We need to perform the substitution. I will go for substitution. Click on to this plus button. Have you seen the same pop-up appear which appeared at the starting level? Anyways, I will show you. Now, what is our column name? BKTXT description. Yes, document header text. I will simply choose this. And now we are going for, yes, we want to go for constant value. So what is the constant value we want to give? Goods receipt document. Now I will simply go for save. Now, if I will cover the steps from the theory part, yes, we provided the substitution name and the description. We created the step. The step has two parts, prerequisite and substitution. Now, when we defined the prerequisite statement, if prerequisite is fulfilled, if the prerequisite is fulfilled, after that only, if I will go for this, sorry, if prerequisite is fulfilled, after that only we are defining the substitution. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with the practical part of substitution. We took one requirement. What is the requirement? Whenever we will create an accounting document, the, if the company code is DE11 and document type is WE, the document header text will be substituted by goods receipt document. So what we did, we went to GGB1 transaction code. The first thing we need to choose the application area. Our application area is financial accounting. Then we choose the particular call-up point. Our call-up point is header only because document text is at the header level. We created the substitution. We provided the name and the description. After that, we created the step. Step has two parts, prerequisite substitution. We provided the prerequisite based upon two conditions, company code and document type. And if both conditions are true, this particular document had a text will be goods received document. In the next video, what I will do, I will show you that firstly, I clicked on to the cancel button of the pop-up and I show you. In the next video, I will not click on the cancel button. From there itself, I can come here directly. I will show you that part. Next step, we will learn also how to activate the substitution because if we will not activate, it will not trigger at all. That part we will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.